Welcome to Clips, a quick review of facts or factoids usually taken from our more in-depth episodes. Today, however, I'd like to talk to you about screwdrivers. Or more precisely, the tips thereof. Far too many old guns have turned up with distorted or downright destroyed screw heads, and this is largely thanks to the fact that you can't just wander down to the local hardware store and pick up a screwdriver that is acceptable for gunsmithing use. Let me show you what I mean. Here is a side-on sectioned view of a metal screw, slotted, like we'd see on a firearm. And here is a common hardware store screwdriver. Note the taper, the wedge shape, one that means we make contact at the top of the screw, so any resistance will put force at the least reinforced surface, leading to distortion of the screw head. These wedge-shaped screwdrivers are meant to be more easily and rapidly self-centered uh, in modern wedge-shaped screws. They're also expected to sort of rise up and out of place when you put down too much torque. And most importantly, they are cheap and easy to make. What we would ideally want is a screwdriver with a truly flat tip, no wedge shape. Even better if it is the exact width of our slot. The closer in size, the better for preventing damage. This allows us to make contact down at the base of the slot, giving us the most control and the least likelihood of stripping the head. If it's perfectly fit, we'll also have the two walls in parallel held snugly the whole way through, maximum surface area. These are known as precision ground screwdrivers. While not quite as ideal, this is a plain hollow ground screwdriver head. I've emphasized the hollowness a bit to get the idea across. The lead up to the tip is ground out so that the tip is the widest point that will be down in the screw slot. While not perfect, it does put the pressure at the base of the slot, a vast improvement over the wedge. Now you can get hollow ground or precision screwdrivers from just about any gunsmithing supplier. Keep away from the department store wedgies. Also, unrelated pro tip, don't use American Phillips head screwdrivers on Japanese motorcycles. It's kind of the same problem. Alright, have a good one.